Good morning to all of you and welcome back to Chris RD channel and today we are going to watch together and react to the floor men's floor finals in the 10 European Championship 2023 in Antalya so here now we are going uh, let us welcome the the gymnast for the men's floor exercises we have Ilan Kovton of Ukraine well Ilya Kovton doesn't have the highest difficulty in the floor finals but he has a good executions he has a much better executions a little surprise package for Harry Hepworth of Great Britain he doesn't join the team event but he is uh, in specialized apparatus finals Milan Husseini of Germany the national champion in floor exercises of Germany it's a very nice gymnast in this apparatus he's a reigning national champion Great Britain Luke Whitehouse he has a good difficulty here in floor exercises from Switzerland Louis Seifert third best in qualifications He's in a 13 in all around event as well. Of course, we have Arthur Dolgopiad. Here we have from France, Benjamin Osberger. The Olympic champion on floor, Arthur Dolgopiad of Israel. He is also the reigning European champion. And we have from France Lucas the sixth best in qualifications this is his debut as a senior in the European Championship so here they are The good thing about uh, European Championship, watching this kind of championship, is that we are seeing a lot of new seniors in the gymnastics. Of course, every continental championship, they are um, providing or showcasing the new seniors, especially Milan Cassini from Germany. The new uh, he, This is his debut as a senior in European Championship. Well, Milan Cassini is having joined the World Cup Series. He got a good success in the World Cup Series in Katbus, Germany, just recently this year. Lots of them have been away from home for a month because they are joining World Cup Series. In this, after World Cup Series, they have that IN Pokal, and now they are having this European Championship. Lots of sacrifices for the gymnasts also to give us a good entertainment and sports. Now we will be seeing the the warm of the first four athletes for the men's floor exercise. We have here the top one of the top qualifier and who been qualified for the top seven fourth and seven and eight. Look, White House here is the gold medal in men's floor exercise. Of course, we'll have to watch how um, Luke Whitehouse became the gold medal in the world championship. The White House is having is one of the contenders now for the men's floor exercises in the world. As of now, we are having um, Roy Ryosuke of Japan, Doi Ryosuke of Japan, with 14.9 in the Ian Pokal, and Luke Whitehouse 14.9 also, and Carlos Yu with 14.8. 
something plus. So they are the top qualifiers in the floor finals in the world that we might be seeing for the world championship competing with each other and also for the Olympics where Artem Dolgopiat is having a difficulty now probably with his ACL and I am very afraid where Artem Dolgopiat performance if he can still recover of course he can recover but for me Artem Dolgopiat should have a rest should rest for for a quite some time because he has problem in his ACL maybe that ACL problem is not that serious but it should have a good rest because it needs to have a recovery because if joining these competitions maybe he is eyeing to be qualified for world championship at least after this European championship so let us now welcome the Ian Kovton from Ukraine He mounted a sensational comeback in all around. 8 best in qualification for floor with 14.066 in qualifications. Well, that's a good start for Alien Compton. That's a secure opening. Well, that's a great job. Great job for the spy position. Great job! It's enormously beautiful executions for Ilya Kovton. He's indeed a strong man with good build. Whoops! Just a fraction low there. This might be a deduction for his execution for stepping forward. He has a good construction for teens. Oops. That's a nice, nice way to finish. Ian Cofton of Ukraine. So with a very tidy of tumbling. There's one problem there. will have an uh, impact in his overall score. He got a problem in one of his rotation there. We look at back to the Ian Kofton performance. That's a great job. Double top front. It was in 1992 where Ukraine won in a floor men's final in the European Championship. He really works a lot in the floor. He, he won in 2020 in the floor during the European uh, Junior European Championship. He is emerging as a successful and very promising senior gymnast. 13.733. He lost a little difficulty from qualification. Down by around 3 tenths. Harry Hepworth of Great Britain, the top qualifier in qualifications. A 19 years old. The Northwest, of course. It's great. It's a powerful beginning. He has been in the World Cup Challenge the floor. Straight landing, stick the floor. Plus 6.3 difficulty qualifications. Whoa! <laughs> Some little bit of deduction for that. That, that you make, there will have deductions. Great agility, you just need to sample his landings. He 
Oh, that's a great landing. Stick to the floor. Whoa, that's great landings. It's enormously beautiful, it's enjoyable to watch. Oops, very well done from Harry Webb Hepford of Great Britain. He has made an unbelievable progress for the last 12 months. And Great Britain people are very surprised of his progress. It's a real acceleration from this hardworking athlete. When he was in primary school, there was a demonstration in his school and a great gymnast did a demonstration and he was inspired of that when he was 5 years old. He got inspired when he saw that a demonstration. He got a fracture in spine in 2018. He showed enormous result after that recovery. He did not give up after that fracture in his spine in 2018. Harry Hepworth is shining in the floor exercises and look at that tumbling. Wow, it's beautiful to watch. Although there are a lot of work to do compared with Carlos Yolo and Doi Ryosuke and Luke Whitehouse skills, but he can certainly be a good gymnast on the floor. With 14.2, difficulty of 6.4, execution of 7.8. His, his executions are down. We have here Milan Hussini of Germany. The fourth best in the preliminary round. 14.266 during the preliminary. The German champion in floor. Enough. This is his first European Championship. Interesting. With Gloveley Randy on the side. Oops, that's near in the red line. I don't know if it if he stepped in the red line. If he stepped in the red line, it will be a deduction for point one. Oh, so again, I think he's having a problem in his landings. will cost him a deduction in his um, executions. That's a great job. He's graceful in his executions. Lovely Milan. Wow. That's a good stick to the floor, beautiful twisting to conclude. What a lovely addition to European Championship, Milan Hussini. He was the reserve for the German team for the last um, Euro World Championship. He's a young man who's to overcome persistent complex. He has like, uh, some problem with his shoulder before. He got some surgery in his shoulder before and he did not give up. Look at his now. Look at him. Of course, it's very enjoyable to watch. Very great tumble in his routines. It's a great tumbling and it's a great stick to the floor. The 
that's a great or oh, that's a little bit prob problematic and will cost him a lot in his execution scores I believe he will have here by the way this is my first time wow 14.2 score in gold medal position He's level with Hepworth, but his execution is more higher. If you have a good execution, if you got a more high execution score, then you will your um, podium will go up. Look, White House of Great Britain with a good difficulty in floor. If you can see, his body is very well built, and that is a very good advantage if you are doing a floor exercise. Whoa! It's massive! <laughs> yes! Triple back! First British man to do it. Keep him going, of course. He has the highest difficulty in... in... execution. He has the highest difficulty in qualifying, but his execution, yes, needs to be fixed more. Oh, great! That's a good looking good landing. He can challenge Carlos Yulo in the floor at her size. And also Doi Ryosuke. They are the three people now who is having a good difficulty in execution on floor. If he can replicate this during the World Championship, it will be a good fight between Carlos Yulo, Luke Whitehouse, and Doi Ryosuke of Japan. Great job! Oh, that's, oops, just a little bit stepping forward. If he did not step forward during that landing, he can have a 15.0 score here. But since he stepped forward, he will have a 0 0.1 detection for that. He won a team bronze medal. And this is a great job for Luke Whitehouse. He, this year is also his um, senior debut. He has also got a good uh, podium medal in the World Cup Series in Doha, Qatar, where he won silver. And look at that executions. And by the way, they are using the same fig code of points until the year 2024 and please do not forget to subscribe like and share to this channel please subscribe like and share do not forget that thank you very much <laughs> this is opening routines it's just it must be more smooth during that um, his legs will he coming up from his uh, when he is doing the this Japanese handstand the leg should be more smooth when he lift it up. It's 14.9, 6.5, execution of 8.4. That is a massive score. That is very hard to beat. Of course, in World Championship, we can we can predict now and we can expect for Luke Whitehouse, Dorios, and Carlos Hill to be beating with each other. That's a good job for Luke Whitehouse. When we welcome to the world, we will be expecting Luke Whitehouse to have a good executions and good fight with Carlos Yulu and Doi Ryosuke. Milan Hussein here has submitted an inquiry. The next former will be interesting from Switzerland. Now we ciphered the third strongest in qualifying with extremely high executions. The best that we saw in qualifications. 
5.7 difficulty he should be he should maintain his high executions here oh that's great job <laughs> great landing Whoa. oh since that will be a full point deductions for no for no way that will be one whole point deductions extremely good to maintain his composure oh his stamina now is coming low he's a little bit disappointed now come on just do it <coughs> great job for japanese handstand Oh, and another handstand. Great job for Noe Cypher. Well, that's great landing, stick to the floor. And if he can just reduce that, those deductions. It's not good. It's not quite a good day for no cipher. He is so competitive in the duration of all around. Very well to get into. This is second consecutive European Championship. It's maturing now. A little bit. Maybe I think he, we can see here some fatigue in the muscles because he just came from all around. It's a great job for landing. Then that would be a deduction if you do one hoop, zero point one. Great double pike, but it should be more. Okay, he did a under rotation because his leg should be more straight during the double pike. He anticipated during for his landing from the double pike. That's why it happened like that. It's a little bit disappointed there, but it's fine. We safer 12.8. Well, point is for that equation. He loses the difficulty, his level difficulty value, plus also deduction for his execution. Benjamin Osberge of France, a 21 year old, who recently recovered from an injury from doing his normal training floor. 14.133 is his score in the qualifying. He has the lowest difficulty when he qual he was qualified, but his executions are high, as you can see. Well, in terms of muscle, I think he needs to develop more of his legs because if you want to be a floor specialist, you need to have a good muscles, strong muscles, especially for the legs, because it needs some more power. So Bender swings is awesome. That's a great landing. Stick to the floor. Great job. <laughs> Execution wise, it's good. And other skills from Formula Horse. He is doing good in his senior career. Oops, <laughs> that will be 0.3. That will be a 0 0.3 deductions because of the distance of the stepping backward of one feet. That's a really good execution, but I hope he just can try to minimize all of his deductions. Great job for Osbergier. Has a little bounce back of his second pass. Whoa, that's 
great job. He can challenge Milian Hussein here in his executions, but for White House, it's hard to beat Luke White House because of his good difficulty here. very graceful in his performances here got some injury before and that injury may be affecting his performance here let us wait for the score 14.133 in his qualification score 13.8 it's not quite there well, 13.8 because he has uh, some stepping forward, stepping backward in his landings to the Olympic champion, Artem Tolgopiat of Israel. The first ever artistic gymnast in Israel to win Olympic medal. The reigning um, European champion who won twice in floor. We drew from all around as the 16 best qualifying. He has a problem in ACL. I'm afraid. Oh, one, two is two steps. That will be a deduction for his executions. If you have a problem in ACL, you will have a problem during your landing. Oops, <laughs> that's a great. Oh, that's very difficult to do. It's very gentle, elegant looking work. That's a great job. Sticks the floor landing. It's graceful indeed. Oh, that's outrageous. Some skills from Pommel Horse. It's a great job. That's great. <laughs> I think I think he has an adjustment of his difficulty routines. He has to adjust for his for some of his routines. He needs to adjust it because he has problem with his ACL. I believe he reduces his difficulty. This is the this is not the usual routines that we are seeing during his world championship and last year um, European Championship. Well that is understandable because of his ACL problem. Two thousand seventeen is the world championship debut of Artem Tolgopia and that 2017 was a surprise because they did not because they did not uh, expect that Tolgopia in 2017 would be qualified for the finals <laughs> but look at him now a successful gymnast let us see his scores White House in the lead with 14.9 Artem was 14.366 during the qualifications. Let's just watch how he produces his finals in floor. 
14.666 at least in second place as of now that's a good um improvement from his world cup cat boost because he's scoring when cat boost we was 14.5 well we can compare that because they are using the same fig code of points until 2024 at least look white house here is guaranteed to wait silver medal the last to compete from France second best in qualification it's a great job he's a threat for bronze here certainly oops ow <laughs> I think that is a 0 0.3 deduction due to the saving four back forward and the distance of that step If you can make it as a 90 degrees, that's it will be more good score. Great handstand. Oh, come on. <laughs> Great landing. Stick to the floor. Smooth and with gracefulness. Oh, just stepping backward, but it cost him 0 0.1. That's the floor finals draw to a close for European Championship. <laughs> they can challenge Milan Fusini here for the bronze position. Look, White House here is dealing with 14.9, Dolgopiat with 14.666. But if, if Art and Dolgopiat can reduce those deductions, those stepping backward, stepping forward during his landings, he can have a good score more. But due to his problem in his ACL, it will be re really hard to, to reduce those deductions. Maybe that is why he, he withdraw for the all around finals because of this problem with his ACL minor injury but it's still an injury oh that double pike forward should be more have a more straight legs that's a good tumblings whoa his legs has a good more has a good parallel historically Go a uh, good in horizontal bar. Here won bronze medal in parallel bar national last year. Thirteen point three six six for Lucas de Sange. Thirteen point three six six. So we have now a podium confirmed. Gold medal for Luke Whitehouse. Silver medal for Artem Dolgopia and. Mila Hussini with 14.2 Well, if you can see, Artem Dolgopiat is very consistent with the score with 14.6, 14.5 because of his ACL problem He has a minor injury in his ACL problem After the World Cup Doha in this 2023 Artem Dolgopiat got a problem in his ACL that's just a, a couple of not one month and look white house is performing well he got a good uh, good floor finals during the world cup doha so this is the classified result of the apparatus finals for floor 14.9 for look white house 14.666 for artem dogopiat and milan Hussein with 14.2 where well harry hepworth of great britain 14.2 also but milan Hussein has a good execution in this floor finals perhaps look white house again i will be repeating this one that he can challenge carlos yulo in the floor during the world championship this 2023 and also doi ryosuke we are a good finals we can set back for arten dogopiat but if he can recover fast in his um, acl problem 
looks good. We're gonna go straight for the victory ceremony. This is how Milan Hussini won. So great tumbling, execution wise. The execution wise is good. Great job for Milan Hussini. For Art and Dog Fiat. I think because Art and Dog is focusing a lot on the floor for his uh, training, it may be his ACL is being um, you know, overworked. That's a great thumping for Artin Golgopiat. <laughs> for Luke Whitehouse, we have here the new king of the floor of the European. Wow. This is gonna be a exciting floor routine. And look at those muscles. His legs muscles. If you have those legs muscles and arms muscles, his overall muscles are enormously developed. And that will be a very um, good advantage for lower finals and bold finals, perhaps. Great Britain will be very delighted for the White House that they have now a king of the floor. Well, I hope. Harry Hepworth can maintain his execution and difficulty until the World Championship and Olympics for 2024 because this year for World Championship 2023 is the qualifying event for Olympics. Also, this European Championship, a continental championship, top 5. I'm I'm not sure if top 5 or top 10 or top 8, but in Asian Championship, you will have a, the first top five will be qualified for Olympics for 2024 and probably Hosini Milan will be qualified now for uh, Olympics and also Harry um, Artin Glokopiat and Luke Whitehouse. For the silver medal, Artin Glokopiat. The Olympic champion took second place in this occasion. Luke Whitehouse, the new king of the floor of the Great Britain and European Championship. Wow, Luke Whitehouse before is selling magazine to have some little money for his allowance. But look at him now, a gold medal for European Championship. In the men's floor surely he will have a good sponsorship now as a gymnast these are big names we, have, we now have a big name and additional big names for men's floor finals for olympics and world championship Luke Whitehouse, Artem Tolgopiat and Carlos Yulo and Doi Rioske we have now four names big four names thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. God bless us all. Luke, congratulations. You are European champion on your debut as well. Can you even begin to just sum this up? Uh, honestly, I just came here to enjoy myself and gain some experience. Um, for me, the team medal was enough. Um, and then I made floor final, obviously. The goal is always to win. So yeah, I just, that was probably the best routine of my life, so yeah, I'm really happy. Can you believe it? I feel like you're a little bit shocked. Has it sunk in yet? Yeah, I don't know what to say. Same with the team final. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I have no words right now. Commentary said that your routine on the floor just then was the best that they think they've ever seen. How does that make you feel? Yeah, really good. Um, so I'll be the world, the Olympic champion, so with Paris next year, it's, it's looking good. Massive score. 
How, how did you think that you could achieve a score like that? Um, I knew I knew I could do it, but I've never scored that high. The highest before was like 14.55. So when I saw it come up, I knew I knew that was a good chance of the medal. But obviously, Douglas Pat was still to go. Um, and then when his score came up, I was just over the moon. Luke, this is your first major competition. This is your first European Championships. How was it preparing for that final? Um, all week, me and Baz have been like, um, it's a Conor McGregor quote. If you can see it and you have the courage to speak it, it'll happen. And we've been saying ever since the team final that it's going to happen. We're going to win gold. And today we're gold. You've kind of spoken it into existence. Yeah. And you make the triple back just look so easy. I've, I've done so many now, hundreds and hundreds, so just the repetition and doing them over and over again in competition. And just finally, your mum and your dad are in the crowd at your first major competition. Did you get to look at them? Yeah, I looked at them and waved them as, as I walked out, and then when I finished the routine, I pumped my fist at my dad, so, yeah, they'll be really happy. Do you know what, Luke? Congratulations, you deserve it. Well done. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, we all...